Hi everyone, back again with Kurosobi. In this video, we're going to take a look at SH figures Awitodo, and I think Awitodo is quite an interesting character from the Jujutsu Kaisen series. Not only that he is strong, but he is funny as well, especially with his scenes with Yuji that he claims is his brother. So he's an interesting character, and uh, we're going to take a look together at the figures figure of Awitodo. We'll see how it looks like later. I pre-ordered this figure from Ami Ami with the price of 7,940 yen. Let's look at this figure together. For the figure box, uh, it is quite similar with other Jujutsu Kaisen figures box uh, from the art, from the type of box. Just the difference is with the color and the preview of the figure on the box. So for Awitodo, the parts that we get are not that many this figure is uh, quite simple rather so we, we will take a closer look at these parts later but you can see here briefly that these are all the parts that are included with this figure for the instruction it's really simple it's quite straightforward just read it uh, quickly and you should be able to understand how to swap and attach the parts of this figure For the articulation, the articulation is quite good. As you see here, uh, he's not wearing any top and his pants, there's nothing to hinder the articulation. So in terms of articulations, I think it looks good. Uh, it's standard for figures figure articulation, which usually is good already. And because there are no uh, outfit that hinder the movement, I think the articulation is really nice for this Awito the figure. You can see here from the upper body part, lower body part, the arms, the head, and the legs that we will see as well is looking really good. Overall, I'm satisfied with the articulations of this figure. For the appearance, I would say it is quite nice. As uh, for a figure that doesn't wear any clothes, sometimes it can look weird, uh, like uh, a bit disjointed and weird like you can see on the chest part here and i think most figures figure that doesn't wear clothes are look like this so i would say the overall appearance is just okay the face looks good the hair looks good and for the outfit which is the pants and the shoes looks good so for overall appearance i think it looks quite all right and um i would say i'm quite satisfied i think it is what i'm expected from a figures figure that doesn't wear any clothes it can be a bit disjointed but it is expected for me for the face plates there are four extra face plates a uh, good number good variation but probably my favorite face plates is this one because this is face it just looks really funny here and this is the necklace with the pendant that you can see in the anime as well that, uh, you cannot open it and there's nothing to do with it it just looks all right and this is the arm part, uh, the crossing arm arm parts. We will uh, use this part when we create the pose later with the figure, so you can see how to attach it to the figure. As for the hand parts, I think in terms of number and variation, it is actually quite good. Uh, you can you can see here there's a quite a number of hand parts with good variation, so I'm quite satisfied with it. We're going to create a post with this figure. Uh, actually, not a post. We are going to creating two posts with this figure. For the first one, we're going to use these face plates, and we're going to use the cross arm arm parts that we seen before. First, we're going to remove both of the arm parts from the figure like this. It is quite easy. And of course, next you just use that arm part and then attach it to the arm that are in the figure. So I would say it is quite simple, quite straightforward. But when you attach it already like this, just make sure that it's attached properly. Just give it a bit nudge, give it a bit push so that the arm parts are already attached properly with the figure. And this is uh, a figure figure. It can balance by itself. I'm just going to show you. For the second pose, first we're going to remove the face plate. And we will remove the head part because we're going to attach the necklace to the neck like this. Then we just attach the head part back just like this. After that, you just choose whichever face plate that you want. For this video, I'm going to use this one. This is my favorite one. And of course, uh, with this face plate, I will also swap both of the hand parts because I will 
post him with the woogie boogie version. Uh, there is a scene on the anime when he fights together with Yuji against Hanami. I think that is one of my favorite scene in the anime. So I would say uh, this is a post that I've been dying to make since I pre-ordered this figure of Aoi Todo. Just like that, we have swap swap both of the hand parts. We just adjust the post like this and we are done and once again i want to show you the figure can balance itself and we have created two different poses with this figures awitodo figure for the size comparison first it with sh figures yuji tadori then it's with the figma the two brothers here and then with figures megumi fushiguro and lastly with figures monkey de luffy Alright, we are done with the unboxing. Now let's get into the review of the figure. Overall, I think it is quite a nice figure. In terms of the appearance, I would say it looks alright. The face looks good, the hair looks good, the pants and the shoes looks good. But as usually with the figure without clothes like this, sometimes it can look weird uh, because of the joints. And I think it is what we've got here, but I think I would say it's still quite normal. In terms of art, articulation is really good. There's uh, no outfit that hinder any of the movement, so this is really good. In terms of parts that we get with the vigor, this is really nice. We got four extra face plates and we got a lot of hand parts with good variation. Overall, I'm quite satisfied with the parts that we get with this vigor. But as you can see here, this is quite a simple figure. And with the price that's not uh, really low, I would say that Probably I can only recommend you to pre-order or buy this figure if you really like Jujutsu Kaisen and you really like the character of Aoi Todo. If you don't really like the character and the series, you probably won't want to think twice before purchasing this figure. We are done with the unboxing and review video. Let me know what you think about this figure's Aoi Todo down in the comment. For the next video, we will be unboxing and review Nendorit Satoru Gojo. Tokyo Jujutsu High School version. This is the version of him from the Hidden Inventory Premature Death, the flashback arc. Please wait for the next video. If you want to support me, please consider to like and share the video, enable notification, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.